If you haven't heard of Clubhouse in the last month, let alone last two weeks, you've probably been living on Mars. And I just want to be the first to say welcome back. And you might be feeling an insane surge of FOMO or whether or not, you know, what is all the hub hub all about? Should I be on this app? Is it important? It seems like everybody's talking about it. I'm going to solve all your FOMO issues. I'm going to answer every question, whether or not this is the app for you. So make sure you come on back. How's it going, Des Nation? Thank you so much for being here. It's so good to see you. On my channel here, I talk a lot about branding and really I love to help people discover what it is that their purpose is, right? Like what, what's their calling and how they can monetize that, how they can make money and sustain that because that defeats burnout and that, that really gives you that sense of fulfillment. It's something that I possess and I've been in this game for a very long time and I want to share that, right? Clubhouse has really taken the social media world by storm. And in this video, I'm going to talk about really the pros and the cons and hopefully allow you to kind of decide for yourself whether this is the app for you by giving you my experience on it as well as really gleaning from other people's uh, experience. And then at the end of this video, make sure you stick around. I'm going to tell you what I personally think about Clubhouse and whether or not you should be on it. So let's just jump right into it. As of this recording, there's a lot of things happening in our world, especially in North America, United States. We've got a uh, tumultuous uh, political landscape, and we've also got a major crisis in the COVID uh, pandemic. And so a lot of people are scared, they're confused, they're isolated, they're alienated and uh, detached from their everyday normal things, and especially their everyday normal people. Well, here comes this amazing Clubhouse app, which enables you to connect with not only people that you know, friends and colleagues, but actually it allows you to connect with new people. And it really is derived under the premise of building relationships and, and, and you know, connecting with people and, and conversations that are real. So the first pro that I would say, it's probably the best app right now to really get to know your you know, get to know yourself and get to know the people who you really want to surround yourself with. Um, and it's an unbelievable way to establish relationships with not only new people, but even kind of rehash and revitalize relationships with people that you've been disconnected with, because we've all been disconnected over the last eight, 11 months, um, because of everything that's been going on. And so this is a great way to catch up. This is a great way to re-energize. This is a great way to build new relationships. And so that's the first pro that I would say when it comes to the Clubhouse app. Now, if you're interested in building your brand and building your business, I would say that one of the results of you know what I've been seeing with my brand and my business is I've been seeing unbelievable growth and conversions just from a business aspect. Um, you know, and I have another video, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, I have another video that really goes through, uh, I don't want to make this about business and branding because, uh, even though it's powerful, um, so clubhouse is very powerful for that, but I've got a, I've got a video that I'll leave in the pinned comment and I'll leave in the description below talking about how you can build your personal brand with clubhouse, which I, I go through real details and specifics on, on the results of that. But just to kind of really kind of overview this and just to really kind of in a general term, uh, I've seen amazing growth on not only my platform and my brand, but actually clients. And really just by doing one thing, and that's just by being human. Don't forget, I know I've said this a lot, but being human on this app is instrumental. It's everything, y'all. So that's one of the that's another pro another pro is is that it's actually an amazing platform to, to really accrue leads and clients and sales i mean sales i've converted clients on this on this app and again if you want to know how i did that or what's the best way to do that um you know i'll, I'll leave a link in the description to that video another pro it's in the moment and it's it's raw and it's unfiltered and there's no um Photoshop, there's no editing. 
And so it's, it's kind of like you're at a massive, you know, you're at a coffee shop or it's kind of like you're at a massive conference, an amazing conference full of like-minded people like you who are interested in the same things that you're interested in, interested in doing the same things, interested in the same, maybe even goals. And, you know, we've heard it all before. And I'll say it again, that when you surround yourself with like-minded people who are ambitious like you or share same values, principles, and goals, that has exponential benefits. I mean, there's great studies that have shown that, you know, the people that you surround yourself, there's a lot of social psychological tests that have been implemented, prove that, you know, you are the sum of the people that you surround yourself with. So it's, it's a great way to be inspired. It's a great way to feed off of other people's energy, which we all need that right now. And it's so powerful. And there's a lot of other pros, but really, I mean, I think those are the, the sort of umbrella pros that there's so many other kind of mini cluster pros, if you will, underneath that. But really, I mean, really connecting with people, like-minded people, um, you know, having real conversations, developing new relationships, building your brand, building your business. It's definitely one of the most amazing things I've seen. And I've been in this game for decades in the online space. I mean, I go back to AOL days. And so I'm an early adopter of, you know, Facebook Live, LinkedIn Live, YouTube, uh, you know, a, a lot of these apps. So I've seen the social media landscape evolve through the years, Snapchat, early adopter of Snapchat. Uh, and so this app is really, I call it the atomic bomb that's dropped on social media. It's really caused an insane splash and I don't see it going anywhere but up uh, unless things change. Now let's talk about some cons here because there are some cons. And so one thing that I would say that goes against this app is if the room is not moderated well, and I think moderators are really, really important and there's too many people on the stage. Um, I don't see a lot of value in that. It's difficult to know who's talking. It's difficult to kind of get this flow to the conversation. There seems to be constant interruption or maybe one person just kind of monopolizes the conversation. And so these larger rooms that sometimes have like, you know, I, I was in a room recently with Tyrese Gibson, which was really interesting. And, you know, the shark, Damon John. But the problem was, is I didn't really get any value from the room because the room was just monstrous. And um, there really wasn't any... Um, ability to kind of get that sort of engagement and that real connectivity. So it was more like just listening to a podcast, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's kind of like uh, clubhouse is almost like kind of like the new radio, if you will, uh, or, or a kind of podcasting 3.0 or something. Um, and that's fine. But, but I, the thing that I think really elicits the most value from the app is that kind of real time conversation. Another con to the clubhouse app is it is a major, major time suck. If you're somebody who suffers from FOMO, uh, and I've actually even heard reports of people really getting ill and missing out on sleep, and I mean, I, that's very extreme, but I think on the general, it can absolutely suck all the time out of your day. My wife is so frustrated with me because, uh, you know, especially over the last two, three days, I've just been on that app forever. The fact that I'm recording this video is a miracle. And I think most of you guys can relate to this. Leave me a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. It is super, super addictive. I mean, it's like you, uh, you can be on that app for six, seven hours and not even know what happened. You got to be really, really careful because if you're somebody who's productive and goal oriented and, and just, I mean, forget even goal oriented and productive, just somebody who really needs to get things done. And you understand, uh, that, you know, your time is valuable and right now everybody's super busy, this app will absolutely swallow you up if you let it. So you have to be very conscious about, uh, you know, how much time you spend on this app. And really, if you're somebody who suffers from FOMO, which is if you don't know what FOMO is, the fear of missing out, forget it. This app is going to destroy you because I don't even think that I ever really had FOMO. I mean, I sometimes do, but I do now, I'll tell you that, because when I, uh, you know, I'm not in the app and I'm not in a room or I'm not, uh, you know, or I'm doing other things with my family or work, I mean, I run a business, I, I feel this kind of like strange sensation, like, you know, what am I missing out on? What's going on in the rooms? And I, you know, and I get that little alert on Apple that says, man, you've been on this app way too long. And so, or you, most of your screen time is, is composed of being on Clubhouse. It's a absolute 
you know, uh, a magnet for FOMOers and it's, it's an absolute magnet for your time and your energy. So I don't think that's a pro. I think that's a con. I think, um, it actually, some people might say, well, that's a pro. That's a good thing. You're connecting your will. Well, yeah, maybe, but you know, if it's taking away from what you really need to get done, taking away from your job, I mean, I've heard horror stories already. It's taken away from sleep. It's taken away from your job. It's taken away from the work and the things that you need to get done. I don't see that as a pro. I see that as a major, major con. Another con is, is that, I mean, it really takes uh, some skill to really get into a fluid conversation on the app because um, there is there does seem to be a lot of interruption uh, because uh, really the only way you can know when somebody's talking or ready to talk is when they unmute themselves as of this recording. I'm sure they're going to come out with new features that will kind of circumvent this, but um, if you don't have rock-solid moderators, uh, it can be a absolute kind of uh, talk fest and nobody's listening and things get really chaotic fast, especially in big rooms. And so, um, you know, I talk about this in the uh, other video that I, that I mentioned earlier, but, um, it can seem chaotic and it can seem, you can almost seem like, why am I here? Why did I do this? And you almost feel guilty and you almost feel shameful after like, why did I, why did I get involved in here? That doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like this really uh, had any value to it. It just seemed like everybody was talking over each other. Uh, and if you find yourself in that room, you know, very reticent to participate because it just doesn't seem like you can get an in anywhere. So, um, that's why it's really important. And I think it's just, it's developing. It's going to get better, I hope. But that's something that I think uh, Clubhouse, if you're listening, uh, something to consider uh, is to maybe have some kind of a hand raising system, not the hand raising system to get up on stage, but even while you're on stage, have some kind of a system or indication like, hey, I'd like to speak or uh, some kind of maybe cue or flow to the conversation. But again, that can all be uh, buffered by having an amazing uh, moderator. So, so make sure that uh, you choose your room wisely or else you can really find yourself wasting your time. Okay, so now that I've given you some pros and cons, and I'd also love to hear from you, leave your comments down below. What has your experience been on this app? What have you taken away from it? What are some benefits? What are some things that you don't like? What are the things you do like? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if any of these pros and cons make any sense at all. Okay, finally, I'm going to tell you whether or not you should be on this app. So here's what I would say about that. I say, yes, definitely you should be on this app because it's an amazing way to form new connections, especially if you're somebody who wants to build a business. It's a fantastic way to do it, but you can't go in there with the expectation, I'm going to build my leads, customers, and business. You have to go in there with zero expectations and really find rooms that are relevant to who you are and what you're all about. And definitely, definitely listen more than talk and try to provide as much value as possible. Try to try to provide as much, um, you know, helpful information and really participating thoughtfully and beneficially to every the, everyone in the room, uh, whatever the topic is in the conversation. That is super, super important. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't have a business or brand, it's super beneficial for you because I think there's nothing wrong. I think there's, I think there's super, super uh, um, value in connecting with like-minded people. And so by finding the right room and connecting with like-minded people, especially right now when we're all stuck at home, most of us are in quarantine or most of us are even afraid to do our normal things. Even if we're not in quarantine, we're wearing masks everywhere. It's annoying as hell. And so this is just a nice way to talk and converse with people and kind of fulfill that. I mean, we're social animals, human beings. I don't care if you're an introvert. I don't care if you hate people. We're still social animals. It's in our DNA. We need that kind of interaction. And so Clubhouse can serve you for that. So um, if you go in with that and you be absolutely human and you understand that it's not about, um, you know, flexing, it's not about showing off, it's not about ego, it should be about serving, it should be about being a participant in the ongoing conversation and contributing something of value, you're going to get a ton of out of this app. And not only is it going to help you just internally with your mental state and your kind of mental health, but it's also going to help your business. It's also going to help your brand. And I think that's important. You know, we're, we're all kind of struggling right now, you know, especially the government's not helping really anybody out. Uh, I mean, they say they're going to give us stimulus checks, but a lot of businesses are struggling. A lot of people are struggling. And so I've seen insane conversions 
uh, which is, you know, I, I don't mean to belittle kind of what I'm doing on there. It's just super fun. It's super fun. There is something so true about being around like-minded people. So for that reason, I think absolutely you should check it out, but really make sure that it's not taking away from your, you know, kind of familial business, you know, work obligations, because it can, it is just as addictive as any substance, substance, maybe even more addictive than any substance. I'm telling you, it is super, super addictive. You will become a clubhouse addict if you're not careful. And so really be mindful of that. Maybe if you have a spouse or partner, somebody who can keep you in check, because it's difficult to keep ourselves in check and you're going to get the most out of this clubhouse app. I hope you got a ton of value from this video. If you did, make sure you smash that smash button and we would love it if you'd subscribe. You know why? You know why you should subscribe? Because I'm giving you brain busting content every single week, every single week, helping you to earn more, grow faster, stress less, mindset, messaging, clarifying your purpose so you can actually make money doing what you love and also getting yourself out of your own way. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you go check out these other videos, especially this one right here I've been talking about a lot. It's in the description, it's in the pin comment, and it's also right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video.